Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry about the obscure sort of angle, there's a bit of noise in the background, so forgive me for that. But I wanted to do a quick video to show you this little beauty. There's not many of them around really at the minute. This is a garden brush and back for artificial grass. And it is the Stand Up Pro 400. It's 1600 watt Hoover basically. RGB Pro, see the difference. So basically when you have artificial grass, you want it to be, when you hoover it, you don't want to just hoover it up, you want it to be brushed and groomed as it's going and that spikes up all the grass and make it look realistic. Um, this, we're doing so many artificial grass installs. To finish it off, it'd just be nice to have a proper machine. Sorry about the hole, I've just been out to work. Uh, we have a, it'd be nice to have a proper machine to actually finish the job. And also to be honest, I'm probably gonna start selling them to my customers. Um, this was £250, not cheap, but you would spend that on a decent mower and when they see how it finishes it off, I think you can just use a normal household hoover, but there's a risk that you could get moisture in it um, and it's not particular, it's not designed for that and like a Dyson or something would be good, but probably the corded one would work, but the cordless one would, wouldn't be big enough anyway, it would run out. Um, we've been doing it with a Henry because we don't care so much they're only cheap and if you know they can suck up bits and they're quite good They're quite hardy, but this is the daddy. This is the what you want when you're doing artificial grass and stuff So we're just going to do a little bit of unboxing. Sorry if I keep on cutting my head off Let's see what we got. £249 on eBay. Okay Instructions um, You've got your grass collection bag just like a mower um, there's a few different versions of this. There's a black one, but this one seems to sell the most. And you, there is more expensive versions um, going forward. You could probably there will, there will be more. I think the main, the big guys, when they see how popular artificial grass is getting, the big guys, maybe Dewalt, Nikita, those ones will start to do these. Maybe Nikita already has one. I don't know. Probably they do everything. So you put the little plastic edges on. Snap, 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 and then snap them all around the bars. I actually really don't like these on mowers, just these little plastic things that hold onto the edges because uh, they never last. But at the end of the day, this is going to have a fraction of the usage of our commercial mowers. Quite a thin plastic, but again, you're not chopping up stuff and shouldn't be loads of stuff going in there. Well, they really do make you assemble it all. There's some knobs and twisty bits and an allen key, so that's to look forward to. Arm, look at that. Look at that. 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 There's the top, just like a mower. And here's the baby itself. Just like a mower, it's got a spinny brush in there. Let me just check that I'm still film, filming, yeah, that's all cool. Uh, yeah, so spinny brush got its height adjustment, so you can lower it right down if you want to. If you, maybe if you have sort of lower grass, but it lowers the brush as well, so you can get really in there. I suppose is the main thing to take away from that. Um, get closer to the grass. Let's have a look. Right, I'm guessing this is the bit we need the last. I think the big ones go on. So the, this is like a little ratchet adjustment, got lots of teeth on it. So when it's mounted, you can adjust it depending on your, how tall you are. Let's just go with that. There's that. And then we put the big knobs on here because I think that's probably what it's for. Beautiful, there we go. It's got a little dot, little arrow that points to it. So I, and there's three little heights, so I'm thinking I think I put it on a tall person, but that's fine. Do the same on this side. Maybe it's just to give you an idea of getting 
that symmetrical. There we go, that was nice and easy. Don't need the Allen key yet. Let's tighten them up. Okay, so then, oh, I'm guessing this is what the Allen key is for. Do I hold it that way or that way? Maybe. Instructions, then Let's have a look at the picture. It does go that way. Does it go that way? Yeah. So, there are four of these adjustable snap bolts. All you do is unscrew. It's obviously so you can fold it up, put it away. On the inside, there's grooves for the bobs to go into. Alright, so, goes through there, twist it, all the way through. I don't, in all honesty, think this is a commercial unit. I think it's likely to be for home users, you know, just for your own garden because it's powered as well as that battery. I'm not sure if there was a DeWalt battery one, I'd have gone for it. I don't know how I like my DeWalt stuff. Right, so that's on. Let's get that on nice and tight. Both look at both. in that way. The difference is it says do it that way. Oh, I know what I've done. I know what I've done. In that little plate, that little plate's not a washer. It's a little plate to stop the, so you can lock it without it bending the little plastic bit. Okay, so let's just take that away. And just put it through again. There we go, and then you got this. Yeah, that looks better. So it actually uh, has a little groove on it, it fits around the bar, so that must be right. Right, here we go, and then you do that, tighten her up, and then and then do a fixer groove. Like that. Okay, cool. Right, let's just it out. So, you take the little orange thing off, the bolt goes through naked on its own. Through again. There it goes. It's got a little square bit that sits inside. Then there's little, on this little plastic washer thing or backer, there's a little groove. And then you want to twist this on. And yeah, it's so it folds away. It seems to have two sets of folding joints. Give it an extra few twists. It's still a bit tight. Let's try that one. There we go. Right, now we're on to the cable handles bit, whatever you want to call them. Right, cool. And then just do the same. Attachment with an anode key. Don't 
sure you know what your VPN key for yet. Brushes out maybe. Moves. Okay, this through there and there. Let's take a little orange thing off. This is somewhat fiddly. I'm probably not making it very easy for myself. So, oh, we nearly there. Right, here we go. So, I don't know what this is. What is this? What is this thing here? Here's the hang. On there, probably to hang the cable on, I'm guessing. And again, I'm not sure why you need an Allen key at this point, because nothing really required it. Oh, there you go, I think the Allen key is to replace the brushes, to which they refer to as blades. Right. So, don't need that, I'm going to just leave them off in there. Here we go, this hooks on to the back quite easily, just like a mower. Want to come and see guys? Right, there she is, all assembled. This is what I was having trouble with, these things here. That little washer is supposed to be on that side because it's got a grooved bit that goes around the bar, tying it out. You've seen these before, I've seen these before. If you've assembled anything, you probably have come across these. I'm not sure about the orange, I'd prefer green. My company brand is green, so that would have been better. But, let's see how it goes. Morning, look how lovely it is out here. Anyway, I did the unboxing and came out here and it was raining, so I didn't want to do the sort of vax and brush while it's raining but I've got it out again it's nice and dry on the grass here it is well you can see how my grass all looks a bit flat and rubbish it's like it's like all the grass is folded down there's a few burn marks where a friend dropped a burning log out of the fire pit which it's okay, you don't really see it. Here we go. Let me uh, set you up over here. Make sure you can see stuff. Focus on that more than anything. This, uh, that's what you want to see. There we go. Stay. Right. Check this out. So what you want is the grass all stand up so you don't get any reflection off the side of the sort of plasticky glass. Sorry about the bad view here. Um, look at this. Can you see that? Let me just see. Yeah, look at that strip there. Brushed it all up. I went over it once. 
and it was like that I went over again made no difference it was like that so I guess you only have to do it once the job's good and let's check in there what did it pick up just from no way just from that little patch that's mental I didn't even know there was stuff on my wife brushes it all the time I didn't even know there was stuff on here there's the brushes got the bit of debris there those just took onto those two little rods Ooh, like that just like a mower really and there's the height I'm on I'm on the highest height how do I know different I am I was on the highest height let's go with the next height we're on do a height one Is like a Dyson on crack. Check it out. It's all fucked up and lovely. See it better from this side because you've got the reflection of the grass. Right, now let's check out what we've got. There was loads of dust flying out of it. Look at that. The camera just picked up. I didn't even know that was in. That was brushed right into the pile and got those out because you couldn't even see those. So they must, that's all from that tree up there. We have a real problem with them falling, this stuff falling on our, and we have to brush it and sweep it and collect it up. Not anymore! That's well good. Really impressed with that. And yeah, you can you can do your whole patio with it really, you just need to heighten the brushes. You don't want to be scuffing the, the brushes on it and wear them down really quick, but that's spot on that is, it looks great. That is probably the best £249 I've spent in a long time.